Hey, how are you? Got a good video here for you today on how auto insurance works. I'm starting a little series on actual training that you can use for your team. I'm gonna use for my team. And if you just don't know how auto insurance works, this will break it down and explain it very clearly. So let's get into it. Okay, so first off, most people, you know, with auto insurance, there's a very, you know, big gray area, like full coverage, liability only, you know, what does that mean? Do I have full coverage? Most people just say, yeah, 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 I have full coverage, but just having full coverage doesn't necessarily mean that you have great, you know, insurance or great coverage. It just means that you have protection for your car and somebody else's car. Liability only is, just other people okay so there are different limits in between there that could be high low middle so you could be say you have full coverage but you could actually have trash coverage so let's dive into exactly kind of what the different coverages mean and hopefully this will give you a clear explanation and clear breakdown um, and this is for california coverages um, specifically if you're in another state listening to this sorry but this is california this is how what i know and um, so i will go into kind of the state minimums um, for the state every state has a state minimum and california's for example so first off i number these on one two and three you'll see here number one is actually all the coverages that you would have if you have liability only if you have one and two you have full coverage, which means you have coverage for your car. And if you have three, these are just additional coverages that you may have as a, you know, bells and whistles on the, on the you know, insurance for auto insurance. So I'll start off with liability. Bod this BI stands for bodily injury. Um, this means uh, you know, if somebody else gets hurt in another vehicle and there's a lawsuit, um, then they turn around and sue you, you have bodily injury coverage. In California, the state minimum is 1530 which means that you have fifteen thousand dollars in coverage per person and up to thirty thousand dollars in coverage total per accident so if three people get hurt for ten thousand dollars each you would be covered because you have ten thousand ten thousand ten thousand per person and up to thirty thousand if three people get hurt for fifteen thousand that's not enough um, especially with you know medical expenses nowadays 15,000 is not much coverage. You know, medical bills going to the hospital, you know, getting x-rays and getting a, you know, surgery, be ready for 50,000. So I would recommend bumping that up. There's the next limit up is 2550 in California, then 5100 is the next one, and then 10300 is the next one, and usually most carriers top is 25500. Some carriers do like 500 500, which is you know, 500,000 per person, 500,000 dollars total. Next, property damage. The minimum in California is five, which stands for 5,000. Um, so you'll see them in these numbers like 15, 30. So it's 15,000, 30,000, five is 5,000. Um, that's property damage. So property damage literally is exactly what it sounds like. Proper, you, you know, if you damage property, you have coverage. Um, minimum in the state minimum is 5,000. So if you hit like a back of a Tesla or you hit like a BMW, you're only gonna have $5,000 to repair that car. Um, a bumper of a Tesla, I'm not sure how much it really is, but I'm guessing it's gonna be like $6,000. I don't know. But realistically, this is super low. I never give people this kind of coverage. I always recommend at least, at the very minimum, $10,000 in coverage. Um, you know, if you hit like multiple car accident, like you're totally screwed, and a lot of it's gonna have to come out of pocket. So, State minimum, 5,000, property damage. That's also if you hit like a, you know, a street pole and you need to recover, you know, the city, you know, property, that also will cover that. So it's just property. Like if you hit a house or something, you know, um, that's what that's for. This here, next one is uninsured motorist bodily injury. So uninsured motorist stands for exactly what it sounds like. Somebody hits you and, you know, they don't have insurance. Um, if that person hits you and they don't have insurance, um, you know, you might be stuck with medical bills for somebody in your car, um, for yourself. So 
you can turn around and try to sue them. That's another option because if they don't have coverage, you know, you could say, hey, I'm going to take you to small claims court or I'm going to sue you. Guess what? The guy's broke too. So you have nothing. You can't take anything from him. You're screwed. So you turn around and you want to, you need to make sure you're covered. So your company offers, and this is an optional one. This isn't state. These are state law required. Like you have to have this in California by law to drive your car. Uninsured motorist bodily injury is not legally required, but we recommend it always. Um, also, the lowest limit on that is 1530. So you will have 15,000 per person and $30,000 total. So like if some, your friend gets hurt in the car, um, you know, 15,000 per person and $30,000 total. Um, so you can turn around and try to sue the person that they don't have coverage and they don't have any money or assets, anything, then your insurance will cover you. Um, next one, uninsured motorist property damage. So also same kind of concept if somebody hits you, but then you need to get your car fixed and they have nothing. You can't sue them for the damages to your Tesla. Let's say you're driving the Tesla and they hit you. They don't have insurance and you need to get your car repaired, but they don't have coverage and they're broke. So you can use your own insurance for uninsured motorist property damage, which will repair your car. Um, you know, there's different companies have different limits here. So this one is just not available because every company is slightly different. Okay, so now let's dive into this right here. Like I said, this is liability. That's number one. Number two is what's called full coverage. So this is also what is known as your deductible. So most people think, you know, yeah, I have full coverage, but like, okay, what's your deductible too? So most of the times we see a standard deductible is, you know, just a thousand dollars or 500, you know, $500 deductibles. And I'll dive into each one. So comprehensive and collision. Collision, I'll start with this one because this one's actually a little you know, easier to understand. Collision is if you hit somebody and it's your fault, okay, you want to repair your car as well. So it's your fault, you hit them, it was your mistake. You know, you want to replace your car, your car is totaled, it's a $25,000 vehicle, you need to get your car repaired. So you pay your $1,000 deductible and then the insurance, your insurance company will pay you you know, uh, give you a check or give you the replacement cost, depending on which carrier you're with, um, will replace your vehicle to its replacement value. Um, that's if you hit another vehicle, that's collision with another vehicle, right? Um, then, or, you know, anything, you know, pole collision is crashing into something, right? And that's, you know, a thousand dollar deductible. Comprehensive coverage is everything other than collision. So what falls in line here is like vandalism, um, you know, theft, if somebody steals your car, you know, if a tree branch falls on the car, um, that's not technically a collision, that falls under comprehensive. Also, what's interesting about that is comprehensive is also like if you hit a pothole, potholes are also covered as comprehensive, even though technically as you're driving and it's not necessarily colliding into anything, so that falls under comprehensive. But main thing is here on comprehensive coverage, is like theft, vandalism, somebody like spray paints or keys your car or something crazy happens if you're being, you know, mean to people and they come out, come after you. Um, that's where, you, you know, comprehensive coverage. And you, these are optional. You can do one or the other. You can do a higher deductible on this one or a lower. You could do 500 here and you can do 2000, you know, 2000 on this one. And this one tends to be more expensive. You know, like comprehensive coverage is usually a little bit cheaper because um, you know, that's less likely to happen than you crashing. Most people just are out in the street and they crash and that happens. So you can mess with these numbers and help rates kind of fluctuate, but you know, that's, so that's that. So if you have one, this one's legally required, you have to have one. And if you have two, you have what's called full coverage. If you have just one, you have liability only. One and two, full coverage. Next, we'll dive into the kind of bells and whistles, number three. This, you know, this is just generic because every carrier is a little different on how their policies work, but most companies have rental car coverage and towing, com towing coverage. So rental car, the, at least in California, the, the standard, what we see is $30 per day. They'll give you coverage for like for 30 days. Um, you know, that's pretty standard. And then towing, 
I think the standard we see is like $75. Sorry, I'm writing like a little kid right now, but um, just to give you guys an example, these are little L bells and whistles that you can add on to coverages and they're very good selling points sometimes because you can um, you know, throw them on there and somebody else might not have had it before. Maybe they don't have AAA in California. The AAA is good for towing. Um, and you know, it's good little extra selling point. And usually these are pretty cheap. They're like an extra 50 bucks, 100 bucks a year. So it's exactly what it sounds like. Rental car coverage in case your car is damaged in an accident or something happens and you need to use a rental car for temporary purposes. Um, you know, you get $30 per day, so you can't go and rent like a Lamborghini because you're not, it's not gonna get be enough. Um, and then towing coverage, it'll cover like 75 bucks. That's the minimum. So I gave you guys all like kind of the minimum limits. Um, these are not the coverages you wanna give your customers. You wanna give, you know, increased coverage, understand their situation, ask them what's important to them, you know, other than the price, because everybody wants the cheapest price always, but understanding and explaining how 15,000 is not enough if somebody gets hurt and they have whiplash and you know neck injuries and stuff happens That's not enough to cover it 5,000 is not enough to recover, you know a, a Tesla You know to re re you know replace a Tesla if you total your car if somebody gets hurt What if they don't have insurance like that happens all the time people are driving illegally without insurance It happens all the time Uninsured motors property damage and then obviously protect your car like people will come to me with like a, a 2021 you know BMW and they'll say no, 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 Chris, it's cool. I'll just go with liability for now. Or just for a couple months and then I'll put it on. Guys, I've been in situations where customers say that to me and I didn't push hard enough to say like, hey, you really should have full coverage. I let them have liability. And then a month later they called me and saying like, Chris, like we need to get full coverage. I had an accident. You know, it's too late, you know, at that point. So don't let that be your customer. Explain to people clearly what this stuff means. Hopefully this kind of explains a little bit you know, better if you don't understand it. Like I said, this is in California, so this is not legal advice. This is just me kind of doing a little bit of training on um, the different products. And hopefully, if you're, even if you're studying for like your exam, if you're not, you're not licensed yet, this will hopefully kind of break that down. Um, and I'm gonna, like I said, this is a little series. We're gonna dive deeper into other products, homeowners insurance, renters, condos, different stuff that hopefully will make all this make sense and make your process when you're getting going faster. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope that helps. And um, let me know if you have any questions, drop a comment, reach out to me. I'm happy to break these down a little bit better and hopefully that makes sense. So that's all I got. I'll see you guys soon. See y'all at the top.